Hi, I'm Easter and I'm going to be making some quick yogurt flatbreads with a fresh tomato and Calabrian chili salsa, a chili syrup and some habanero buttered onions. So first of all, we're going to make the flatbreads. It is a yogurt based flatbread. We've got self-raising flour, salt and baking powder in here. Just going to add yogurt, a bit of soft brown sugar, but really you could use any sugar or honey or anything. A bit of apple cider vinegar for acidity, some olive oil, and that's it. Just going to stir that together in the bowl until it comes together. So once it's all sort of come together, I'm going to tip it onto this board and I'm just going to give this a knead. I don't really need any more flour at the moment. Once it starts to get a bit sticky, you can add a bit of flour to the surface, but not too much. Add a bit of flour there too, and then just carry on kneading it until all the clumps of flour are nice and smooth. So keep adding flour as and when you need it, but don't over flour, just like a, a light layer. I'd say I'm pretty happy with that texture now. I'm gonna divide it into four. It's gonna make four flatbreads. Cover them with a tea towel, and then just let them rest for about 20 minutes. So next we're gonna make a chili syrup with maple syrup, but you could use honey too, and a bunch of different chilies. You could use any chilies that you have. I'm gonna use a mix of a jalapeno, habanero, which is super hot, guajillo chili, which is kind of like a medium heat, and then a couple of scotch bonnets. You don't need to use chilies that are this hot, but I like to. I'm gonna char the chilies first in the rock box until they're nice and black all over. Hopefully, in a few minutes, they're going to start to sort of bubble and blacken. The chilies are starting to smoke and it's becoming a little bit hard to breathe. You might start coughing and that's when you know that good things are happening. Okay, so this is kind of what we're looking for. A bit of char all over. Oh my God, it makes it really... <coughs> Excuse me. Woo! Okay, that's going to happen. You're going to cough. It's going to be in the air for a while, but trust me, it'll be worth it. I'm just going to add this maple syrup to the chilies and it's going to kind of bubble away and just take on the flavor. Like, you know what, actually that pan was a bit too hot, so I'm just gonna put it into a separate pan to stop it from boiling away. There we go. So I'm just gonna let that steep while we prepare the rest. So now I'm just gonna quickly char some spring onions. I've just tossed spring onions with a bit of oil and salt, and then I'm gonna stick them in the rock box until they're beginning to char all over. And so these are some fried onions, which I've really, really, really slowly caramelized. What you want is a really deep sort of amber caramelization. And to that, I'm going to add brown butter. Don't strain off the bits. Lots of recipes tell you to strain brown butter, which I think is ridiculous because those bits at the bottom are gold. And then curry powder, one of my favorite ingredients. You might think that's going to taste a bit weird with the tomato and the ricotta and the maple syrup and the chilies, but you know what? It's going to taste great. Okay, so they're nice and charred now, so I'm just going to turn them over and then give them a few more minutes so they're charred on both sides. So that is what we're looking for, some lovely charred spring onions. Next, we are going to make a grated tomato salsa. First, make sure you get really ripe tomatoes. There's like no point in doing this if your tomatoes aren't ripe. It's kind of makes more sense not to make it unless you have ripe tomatoes. So these are really nice and soft and ripe. I'm just going to scoop away some of the seeds, not all of them. Just use your fingers for this. I mean, you could use spoons, but I'm not going to. So if you can't get ripe big tomatoes to, to grate, then use cherry tomatoes, like ripe cherry tomatoes, and just finely chop them. You want the large holes of a box grater, halve your tomato, and then just grate it. Watch for your fingers, um, and you just grate it until you get to the skin. So my salsa is a little bit on the watery side. I just want to get rid of a bit of that tomato water so it's not too soggy. Now we're going to season the tomato salsa. One of my favorite ingredients is this Calabrian chili paste. Crema di peperoncino, which means like cream of chilies, but it's not a cream, it's just like a, a paste. Calabrian chilies are incredibly delicious. They are sort of fruity, smoky, kind of like a scotch bonnet. So I'm gonna add some of that in. If you can't get hold of this, uh, then you could use finely chopped red chilies, plenty of salt to taste, then a bit of garlic. I know a lot of people grate their garlic on a microplane, but I don't actually take the skin off. Uh, you can just grate right on to the microplane. The skin stays on one side and then you just get garlic on the other. So I'm going to add some olive oil and then some lemon juice, just a touch, and mix that all together. Very important to taste it. Maybe a bit more lemon. Okay, that is good to go. So now, rolling the flatbreads, dust your surface, but not too much. Make sure you don't use too much flour on the surface or on the peel, because otherwise the flour will burn in the oven. So just use your hands to stretch it out into 
a rough sort of flatbread shape. Any random shape will do. You want it about that thickness, about that size. And before you put it on the peel, just kind of brush most of that flour off. So I'm gonna whack it in the rock box now and it should take about two, three minutes. Okay, so this is the best bit. We're gonna cover them in all our delicious toppings. Let's start with the tomato salsa. Try and leave some of the juice behind so it's not too soggy because there's quite a few wet things to put on here. So that's probably enough salsa. And I'm gonna go on with a few spoonfuls of ricotta. Then I'm just gonna chop up these green ends here. I like these charred bits at the end. So I think I'm gonna go with onions next. I love that color that the curry powder gives it, makes it sort of like a bright yellow. Spring onions next, a few of those. Now I'm gonna drizzle over some of this chili syrup. It's actually quite spicy, so you can just let people do that to taste. So these are my quick yogurt flatbreads with grated tomato salsa and chili syrup. For the recipe, go to gosney.com. Oleg, do you wanna come and join me? Enjoy. Chin chin. Very good. It's really nice. I don't know what else to say. It's really good.